So have you guys been following the news from Tanzania? <laughs> My people, it is heartbreaking <laughs> that people would conclude in their mind that you must be a witch and they would kill you because of that belief. Kai, I'm telling you, some things should not be happening at this age. You know that seven people, seven people were killed earlier this month in Tanzania. Five of them were in their 60s, senior citizens, so, and two of them were in their 40s. They burned some of them and they hacked others to death because they thought they were witches. I'm like, why, 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 why? When would we not hear of stories like this anymore? And to my shock, just some days after that, two other people were killed in their home. A woman in her 80s, in her, that's just ridiculous. An elderly woman in her 80s and her daughter who was 45. Just imagine the excuse that the neighbor that killed them gave. He said that he's impotent. And because of that, he believed that the old woman must be responsible for it. Huh? What? I, I, I can't really comprehend. So him and another guy hacked these two women to death in their home. And no one came to help them. That, that's heartbreaking. Ignorance, oh my God. Ignorance is a, is a major, major disease. Even if somebody is a witch, how does killing them solve any problem? If you're impotent, have you been to the doctor? Eh? And now that they killed the woman, the guy has been arrested. He's spending the rest of his life in prison. So what problem have you solved? You know, the ridiculous thing is the way they determine if someone is a witch in Tanzania. They go by the color of the eyes. If the person's eyes are red, she must be a witch. And many of these women get red eyes after cooking with firewood for years and years or after using dung as cooking fuel. When you do that for decades and all the smokes get in your eyes, the eyes start to turn red. You can avoid it. Can you imagine that to many people, these women are suddenly considered witches? According to the Legal and Human Rights Center in Tanzania, every year, as many as 500 people are lynched because they believe they must be witches. 500 people every year. Between 2005 and 2011 alone, more than 3,000 people, 3,000 were killed after they were accused of being witches. I mean, take a look at these women and tell me if you don't pity them. <laughs> Utaku <laughs> Just imagine, breaks my heart. Most of these people are in their 60s, some of them in their 80s, elderly women. They feel helpless, you know? And what is the Tanzanian government doing about this? Clearly, they need to educate people. Have you guys noticed that this is happening mostly among people living in villages? Many of them are poor. The rich people are not killing themselves. They are not accusing each other of being witches. It is the poor people that are killing each other. See, this is what happens when people believe that witches are behind every little thing. I have headache. Oh, it must be witches. You have to rebuke the devil. Seriously? Oh, I didn't get that job. He has to be the witches. They are following you from your father's house. Really? Even in Nigeria, so many people believe that witches are behind every little thing. Ah, whenever there's an accident, we'll say, oh, it is the blood-sucking demons. But why would accidents happen? When our roads are filled with potholes, eh? And those of us that are talking about it, they will start rebuking us. They will say we are disrespectful. Why is it that countries with good roads don't have as many accidents as we do? Eh? Are there not witches everywhere? I thought witches are all over the world. How come we are the ones that are recording deaths on our roads 
every single day every single day i'm not saying that the supernatural doesn't exist i'm saying that we need to have discernment which is why when i saw the video of the woman in lagos who was accused of being a bird and then turned to a human being they said she's a witch i was so heartbroken by the attitude of the people that were there they were cursing her they were making fun of her saying that she deserves what happened to her my people whether you believe that she's a witch or not what matters is getting her to the hospital for treatment and saving her life first and when she gets well she can tell you about everything you want to know i mean it's not the story that you want to hear uh -huh. so let her get well and she can tell you stories i know that many people will not agree with me but to be honest i personally don't see jesus doing what these people were doing i know many of them will be religious people christians and muslims yes i just can't picture jesus making fun of someone who is already burnt all over her body saying you deserve it if anything he would have mercy on her yeah that is what i know anyway i'm hoping that tanzanians will stop killing themselves in the name of witch hunting just imagine 500 500 people in one year alone kai and they need to stop killing albinos as well yes you know i've talked about that before that in tanzania they kill albinos because of the belief that their body parts will bring fortune when they use it for black magic can you imagine that rationale really this must stop but you guys know i don't know much guess what i'm just keeping it real <laughs>